What is going on with everybody? Another month, another playlist. Let's get right into it. Different Addy by Rio. This is an older song. I did not know that it was on uh, Apple Music. And uh, my favorite song is he's just, I mean, my favorite line, excuse me, in the bar. I mean, the song he says, um, he says, I was just getting interviewed by the feds. I'm on a jumper now. <laughs> I love that bar. Uh, but yeah, he was just rapping on here. I mean, that's what Rio always does. Really good rapper. Shout out to Rio. Free Rio. Free the ghetto, as they say. Um, Family Ties. Man, that first beat with them horns, bruh. That boy, Keem, was talking on here. Lovely song. Shout out to Kendrick. Uh, what's up, brother? Uh, I could take you out of class and show my ass. I'm like Megan, brother. You know, amazing brother. He was doing that whole brother thing. Sounded like a hick. Thought that was pretty hilarious. Didn't review the Keem album. Didn't really finish the Keem album. Not because it was bad or anything. It's just I never got around to finishing the album. So don't have any thoughts on that. But I, I did laugh at Range Brothers. So there's that. Uh, Mission Fail by Woody 2 Live. Now, this has made it into my playlist. I want to say maybe a couple times, but this will probably be the last time. Uh, and this is, serves as a tribute post because he has now passed away. Shout out to Woody 2 Live. This song is a couple years old, and he was rapping about when some dude shot him up. They didn't kill him, so he made a song, so he made a song called Mission Fail, and he had females twerking in the hospital, which was just a really outrageous thing. Very funny song. Very like, hey... You didn't kill me, haha. Ha. And then apparently a couple months ago, got killed by his own friend. So gotta watch who you have around you. Pretty Grammy world. Rest in peace, Woody Two Love. Then next we go to Magami Pinrail. Bro, he is legitimately one of the best rappers. This beat is crazy. Uh the rapping on here is just beautiful, man. Uh MC Killer, Mutton Chops and Minks. Like he was really talking foul on this song one of my favorite songs on this album and boy this album just gets better and better each listen shout out to that boy mock first day out man he just don't miss bro he don't miss isa agro the most turn asian as he deemed himself i've been supposed to interview him for a minute i know he has an interview on no jumper now speaking of no jumper um i was supposed to interview him a minute ago Hopefully we can still set that up. Love this guy, Detroit guy. You probably see him go viral. He was the guy that said, uh, every, he was rapping in the, uh, the car. He said, everything changed just a ploy ploy. <laughs> if you didn't see that, then you don't know. He said, I put a, I put some cheese on the burger. It's going to get eight. <laughs> I put some cheese on the burger. It's going to get eight. <laughs> he was talking crazy on this. Shout out to, shout out to bro. So this is the cdq version of that freestyle that i'm rapping fire song pipe down the best song maybe that's by drake on this you know my favorite song is from uh the the white woman who sounded like a mammy that was singing she was fire but pipe down is crazy 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 uh yeah this is one of the better songs on the album if you want to know my thoughts on that just go watch the album review it's a it's a pretty long one I know, so I watched the Boosie movie. I'll also review that. Go watch that if you want to know how I feel about that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just been in my Boosie bag. Even my Boosie and Webby bag this month could have been just filled with nothing but old Boosie and Webby. It's really funny how, like, somebody like Boosie and even Webby to a certain extent, there's probably like older rappers who looked at as like memes and couldn't name me one song. I probably like wipe me down. Like people probably think Boosie's like a one hit or two hit wonder. And it's crazy, like, because from my view of where I'm from. The, the era that I grew up in, Boosie was legitimately the Southern the Southern Tupac. That's why people looked at him like, oh yeah, he's he's gonna be the Southern Tupac. So it's just crazy to see how the perspective of him is viewed now. But uh, a lot of that is due to him. It's kind of self inflicted. But neither here or there. Uh, fire song, another fire song. God provides. Shout out to Tamla Man. Uh, my ex girlfriend made me this. A playlist a minute ago. It's been like a couple years ago. She made this playlist, and I just sort of made me a gospel playlist. And she put all her favorite gospel songs in there. This is one of the songs. I mean, Tamla Man was cooking with fish grease on here. Shout out to her. Uh, free Shiest V's. Come on, man. What do you say? Uh, he said I keep that bit br like I'm shiesty thirty. Just talking crazy on here. I mean, V's literally always talks crazy. Hopefully we get Gangers, his album, debut album before the year's over. Would love to hear that and, uh, you know, put that on my top albums of the year list because I know it's going to make it. It's freaking V's, get doesn't a miss. So, yeah, hopefully he gives us something. Twist and Turn. Man, this song has also made it, I want to say. It's in my place before, but it's so good, bro. This song is phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal. 
however you pronounce the word. The song's great, bro. Drake, Party Next Door, uh, Popcon, literally all of them. If I can see, can see. Man, that, hey, them boy were talking crazy on here. Oh, wow, I Twist and turn, twist and turn. <laughs> Fire. Uh, what did I get myself into? Another album review. You want to know my thoughts on it? What did I get myself into? No, 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 no. He sounded like he was hogtied by the by the Central America cartel or something. <laughs> like, El Chapo boys got a hand on him. was like, yep, he was touching my daughter. Well, you know what I'm saying? Even though she's old enough to talk to guys, I'm still going to beat you up. That's how I feel like the cartel niggas is. They daughter could be 28 years old and they still hog tying their boyfriend for going on dates. The niggas are crazy out there. Fire song ghetto free man shout out to ryu and pz bro they were talking crazy on here one of my favorite songs from michigan this month uh, pz fire rio fire so many bars on here this is the real half a mil love i'm half a mil love little half a mil love that's 1.5 that nigga P- pz was talking crazy uh i don't know why but bars about attempted murder in the way that michigan niggas can flip i've heard like five michigan niggas have like very different attempted murder bars uh rio said uh he tried to grab it when i shoot no he said he tried to grab it when he shot what do you say doll tried to grab it when he shot instead of murderous attempt or something like that uh uh nutty got a bar saying he shot him with his eyes closed so they hit him with a temp like literally they all have like different type of attempt murder bars i don't know why that's a michigan thing i don't know if they just get hit with a lot of attempts but a lot of attempt bars and uh play doing a creative way each time so shout out to michigan i love those guys cross me negro spiritual that i feel like i definitely had to put in there still my favorite young boy album to this date um yeah this this album is fire Plies had a crazy verse. Little Baby had a crazy verse. Young Boy just stole the hook. I mean, he stole the show with that hook. That I was blind for they calls me. I was blind for they calls me. Fire. Uh, hey, this guy, I don't know if I want to touch him right now, but he is going to be featured in a new segment that I'm going to have called Pink Dungeon Discoveries. You'll see what it is. But this guy found him on accident. Uh, freaking found this album. Loved it. I'll leave it at that, but please check my video out. And I never tell you guys to really like, like beg you guys to go check stuff out. But I want, I'm gonna beg you guys to check this out because it's gonna be something for smaller artists, like artists that really don't have like a name that I personally come across. And uh, yeah, this guy, amazing. I'm gonna just leave it at that, man. Just go check it out, man. If you don't check out anything, go check out Hey It's All Right by Grande Mahogany. Tycoon by Mazi. Interviewed Mazi last year. Cool dude. Shout out to Mazi. Uh, slid on this song. Good album. Nothing else to say. Mazi just a consistent rapper. Good stuff. Another song that I had on here. I feel like it's a lot of stuff that I probably. No, I don't think I ever had Breathe Deeper on here. Either way, this whole album. Lovely. Love it. Talked about it enough last year. It's Tame and Polly. You know the song. Should have got a verse from Drake. Lonnie Bang Gang. Uh, another, another Michigan guy. He was snapping on here. He said, I got a hundred thousand on the table like a jail spread. Put my foot and put my leg in that dog on a road. He said, He said, a hundred thousand on a jail, a hundred thousand on the table like a jail spread. I put my foot in that dog, damn near lost my leg. <laughs> he was talking crazy on here. Uh, then other dudes started snapping, literally, fire song. Uh, Detroit State of Mind featuring Elzai, another Detroit rapper, different type of style. Legitimately might be better than Illmatic. This is Illmatic by Illmatic, by El by Elzai, excuse me. I think this honestly might be, man, might be superior. Great album, great rapping, updated live instrumentations. I don't know what else you can ma- uh, ask for. This album is amazing. Shout out to the boy, man. Watch the duet. Rest in peace to Wiz the Wizard. Uh... Florida rapper signed to Kodak died. He had a hit on his hands. This What's a Duet song is going up on like TikTok, social media. What's a Duet? Girl, hear my phone like, what's a Duet? What's a Duet? Tell me what's a Duet. That's that right there. He ended up dying. Rest in peace, Wiz. Very good rapper. Had him on here uh, probably like early this year when he dropped that, uh, that, that, um, Gotta Keep That Iron On song. We were rapping over the BG song. Fire. Indian Summer, man, this album, bro. This is going to be on the top albums of your list. It's so different and unique. If you just want a different, unique album, go listen to Haram Fire. 
Hey, two uh, New York niggas, two New York niggas, two Michigan niggas back to back, excuse me. I mean, not just but Michigan like that. Big Body and Kill, GTVs, Los, and then Nutty's on the song. I don't know why I just say Los. Bro, just both fire songs. Everybody slid on their verses on these two songs. This is the, that's, Kill's actually somewhere he said, uh, he, um, he shot him with his eye closed, so they charged him with a temp. Fire song, Big Body, GT had one of his best verses, in my opinion, that I've ever heard from him. Fire stuff. War with us. This is a Negro classic. Like this is a Negro spiritual classic, bro. This is like, <laughs> like if there were like if there was ever a revolt in slavery in twenty twenty one, they would play this amazing song. This is the reason. This is the song that I realized that Young Boy is a problem. Shout out to Young Boy. Sipping fire. That's all I gotta say, man. We got Vezo over a different type of production. Love it, man. He was in his bag on this entire song. Then Ray coming. I'm like, bro, this nigga Ray, he's really like a, he's a special rapper, bro. He's special. He don't sound like nobody. None. They all sound like they own rapper. But he got his own flow, his own swap, man. That boy Ray, he really one of them ones, man. Shout out my boy Ray, man. Did his thing. Who put you on? This had me with my shirt off 2 o'clock in the morning. Thinking about selling fentanyl, bro. This really, this is, if you want to make some money, you want to get motivated, here go the song for you. This is the one, 100%. Fire, fire, fire. Los went crazy, top side on the beat. Man, Los, Los said, I had to ask myself a question. How much money am I worth? And I had me looking in the mirror like, Eric, how much money have you worth? <laughs> I had to ask myself that question, but I shot the boy Los fire. And then we close it off with Shark Tank by Tommy Go Crazy. A guy that I went to school with, didn't really talk to him in school, but shout out to Rari. If you watch the live streams, you know who Rari is. And this is his homeboy. He was like, bro, you should check him out. I listened to him. This song's been stuck in my head, man. This is like a singing guy. He sings about street stuff, but not like little dirt type of singing. He grew up in a church, but he was still dibbling, dabbling other lifestyles. So he's singing about that lifestyle, but almost from like a, a gospel perspective. Like he's singing, singing, not like dirt harmonizing. Like, let me, may I reiterate, but singing almost like a Mo3 can sing. So yeah, if that interests you at all, go listen to Tommy Go Crazy. I love this song. Uh, she asked me why I keep shooting my book and they be giving me chills. Uh, she asked me why I won't let it go because I know the pressure real. He was singing on this. So, hey, that's the playlist. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys have a good day.